In this video, I will teach you how to calculate the distance between any two points. Now again, there's a very simple formula for that, and that is AB is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1, the whole thing squared, plus y2 minus y1, the whole thing squared. Now this formula, instead of writing x2 minus x1, now because there's a square on it, you can also write it as x1 minus x2 the whole thing square plus y1 minus y2 the whole thing square. Because having a square will cancel out its effect. If it's negative, squaring a negative number, as we know, will result in a positive number. And if it's a positive number, the number will stay positive. Now, let's just quickly do an example with this. Now let's say if instead of having x1 and y1, we had two comma two, the x coordinate is two and the y coordinate is two as well. And instead of having x2 and y2, we had, let's say seven and eight. And now, I, if I want to calculate the distance between these two points, again, I'll just simply use the formula, which is AB is equal to the square root of 7 minus, minus 2, the whole thing squared, plus 8 minus 2, the whole thing squared. Now... <clears throat> AB will be equal to the square root of 7 minus 2 is 5 and the square of 5 is 25 plus 8 minus 4, 8 minus 2 is 6 and the square of 6 is 36. Now 25 plus 36 will give you 41, 41 plus 20 will give you 61. Now this is, a square root of 61 is the distance from these two points, A and B. If you want, you can write it as decimal, but that really depends on the answer options. If the answer options are given in square root form, then of course, we'll have to keep our answer in square root form as well.